Right. 24 points dropped from winning positions is just not acceptable. And now, if you can't realise and notice what the problem is here, then you seriously need to rush yourself to the hospital. Because it's not acceptable. Put your crash helmets on. Because I'm about to go in on the players. Someone needs to. There's no shame in conceding to Coventry. It was more than likely going to happen at some point. But don't let it fucking destroy your confidence. Don't let it let your arsehole fall out the bottom of your trousers and go, fuck this. Man up. Fucking man up. Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is my post-match analysis video for yesterday's 2-1 defeat on the road, on the TV, against Coventry City. Listen, I'm going to park the manager in this video. I have nothing... I have not a bad word to say about the manager. Not one bad word to say about the manager. This video is to do with the lack of balls that's half footballers that wear this badge on their chest do not have. And whether you like it or not, it's true. These, some of these fans are really, really, they pussy foot around them. Um, they're too soft. Too soft. They're a shambles. They're a shambles. In here, they're a shambles. And that is what is costing us championship points. What is what are the basic characteristics of the basics of football? To do the basics of football well or to a good enough standard, right? You need communication, you need organisation, you need leadership. You need someone to step up, stand in their way and say, this is not happening. This is not happening. We don't have any leadership. You need leadership. Sorry, lost my train of thought then. You need leadership. You need someone to stand up and take any the game by the scruff of the neck. By the scruff of the neck, grab the ball by the horns and run with it. Take responsibility. Take responsibility. There's no leadership, like I said. There's no communication, no organisation. Um, well, there's a little bit of organisation, but it's not up to the level it should be. Um, you, you need, in order to do the basics of football well as well, your fi your fitness levels need to be absolutely on point. Um, the, the way we're switching off in crucial moments in a in a two minute spell really is is a shambles um there's no yeah like i said the concentration levels of this group is nowhere to be seen and it's just individual error after individual error and that is what will or is setting us apart from being an average championship side to a good championship side do you get where i'm coming from there is no leaders in this team there's been no leaders in this team since Morrison. Probably even more than that. Probably even further, further back than that. And the the fans, uh, look, this is not a dig at the fans as well, but um, this is no dig at the fan base, by the way. But it's an easy, the fans that keep on, and I'm, I'm, I'm guilty of that sometimes as well. But the fans that keep on wanting to call for managers' heads off the managers' heads. No. No. You've got to look up and stand up and realise and take a look at these players. You've got to take a look at these players. They're not good enough. They don't have any backbone. They don't have... There's nothing about them. Every single time. Every single year. Year in, year out. Every single... Time a team throws a little bit of something at us, we crumble. The arsehole falls out of us and we shit ourselves. We shit ourselves against Blackburn last game of the season. That is probably half of the reason why we're in the state of mind that we're in because they're not getting, they've not got over that, but it's their fault they put themselves in that position. So get yourself out of it. And the only way we can get ourselves off this canvas that we seem to be stuck on is. By stop making these individual errors. Stop making individual errors. Communicate. 
if your if your if your player if your teammate need your help, go and support him. Don't like the basics of Tanganga. He he used to be a champion a Champions League defender. What right? Champions League defender? Apparently he was. He has played in the Premier League. He's not a stupid man. He's a unit of a centre half. So surely he knows how to defend. No, surely he knows how to do the basics of defending well. Your angles. You you, you know not to dangle your leg in the penalty area. Area surely. Um, it's just I don't know the goalkeeper. This is there's just so many errors in this team, and that. Is the reason why we are slowly, whether you like it or not, again, sleepwalking to League One. And eventually, it will happen. It will happen. And we're going to be stuck in there for four or five years again, trying to rebuild to get back out. Um, but it's not acceptable. 24 points dropped from winning positions screams to me that this problem, this recurring problem that's been going on for four or five years with the mentality of this group with the leadership of this group is not to do with the manager that we've had or have on the sideline it was nothing to do with Kenny Jackett it's nothing to do with Neil Harris it's nothing to do with Gary Rower and it's nothing to do with Joe Edwards it's to do with these players on the pitch they're not good enough they need help they need mental help their head is all over the place their heads are all over the place there's no guts and balls in this in this club there used to be but that's gone that's gone every single time we can see the goal you don't drop your head you lift your head and try and get yourself out of it but we don't do that we're a bunch of pansies um and it needs to I feel so sorry for the managers that people keep flying under the bus because they're, they're an easy target for people to... It's not the managers. It wasn't, it wasn't Gary Rower. It wasn't at the back end of Neil Harris. It's to do with the mentality of these players. They're scared. They're pansies. They're a bunch of bottle jobs and they don't know how to deal with pressure. It's like... Arsenal are apparently the bottlers of the Premier League, right? Millwall are the bottlers of the Championship. And people do not like to hear that. But it's true. Um, and I feel so sorry for the, the manager and his coaches. Because eventually, the, these players will end up getting him the, the, getting him the sack again. Because he... Does it, he can't he can't stop them like I said yesterday making individual errors. It's the basis of football. It's the ba- get your get your shape right, get your body get your body position right, get yourself on your toes and get ready to it's just the basis of football. Um the the we need to start scoring second goals because I have no problem with the way we're, we're starting games. We're starting games like a house on fire. We're going to start the game like a house on fire probably on Wednesday against Ipswich, and we'll probably get one lucky goal to go one nil up, but we will get punished because we are too toothless in front of goal. And that is the difference. We're not good enough in front of goal, and and it's costing us. We're getting worked out. We're, get, we're getting worked out. It's as, it's as simple as that. And the sooner these players come together, stop moaning, stop complaining, and get yourself off the canvas and sort yourself out, is the better chance we got of a championship survival. Because if we don't, we are sleepwalking into League One. I've had enough. Come on, you lines.